Stories of the advanced capabilities of the Hindu deities of old are found all throughout India. But just south of the Indian subcontinent lies the magnificent island country of Sri Lanka. This is a place known for its breathtaking landscapes, diverse culture, and various UNESCO World Heritage Sites. One of the most impressive places in Sri Lanka is Sigiriya, a site often named the eighth wonder of the world. Sigiriya was also home to an ancient city that sat atop the monolithic rock towering 650 feet over the town of Dambula in the Matali district of Sri Lanka. The site attracts thousands of tourists daily and has been a UNESCO heritage site since 1982. Many believe that the giant monolithic rock looks unnatural because of its perfectly flat top, which almost looks like it's been cut at a precise angle. According to modern archaeologists, the earliest settlement on top of Sigiriya was the Lion's Fortress, built in the 5th century AD. The bulk of the site, its palaces and its enormous granite water tank, was constructed under the command of a rogue king known as Kashyap. However, the locals believe this ancient site was built thousands of years before that by an ancient Hindu god named Ravana who is part of a race of beings known as the Asura. These deities are said to have come down from the sky and ruled over portions of humanity. In one of our recent videos, we discussed in detail the magnificent Rama Setu, an ancient bridge built between India and Sri Lanka by the god Rama, who waged war against Ravana. There, we provided much evidence supporting the belief that Rama Setu was indeed an artificial bridge built thousands of years ago by unknown beings. In these Hindu epics, it is said that Ravana ruled Sri Lanka from his palace in Sigiriya, and that the palace was destroyed after the war with Rama. Is it possible that what we see today in Sigiriya is the remains of the ruined palace of Ravana? If the stories about Rama Situ turned out to be real historical accounts, is it possible that the stories about Sigiriya were also real? And could Sigiriya have been used by ancient civilizations, and perhaps even by the Hindu deities, thousands of years before King Kashyap built his fortress there? Before we find out,